In order to get in that school, she had to use her silver tongue. And by silver tongue, I mean her mouth. And by mouth, I mean she had to become a Gluck Gluck 3000. She had to slob on the principal's knob just to check in with them and do her job. Maria no Tenzai. What would you do if your loved one perished right in front of you and those responsible got off scot free? If you thought this was The Punisher, John Wick, Death Wish, Peppermint, or it's even a plot point to a JoJo, you're far away from the mark. This story follows a lovely family where the father is a filthy pig. Now just to clarify, I'm saying he is a cop, not some unidentified human specimen. The mother is a sweetheart who loves her family dearly. We'll call her Maria because, you know, that's the name of the story. And the loyal, kind-hearted son, we'll call him Mario. So the whole thing starts off with Maria being a common Japanese mother, making her son a Fento. When Mario suddenly jump scared her, the two converse as the healthiest relationship between mother and son. And then Mario leaves off for school. We go from a wholesome morning to witness students playing a brutal game of stomp his ass out. The scene before us looks like a dark interrogation. In other words, the son was being bullied by five people. These mofos, I don't even know them by name. But let's call the buff guy Tyrese, the fat boy Albert, the girl is hentai bitch, the dork is Weasel, and the ringleader will be called Muzan. Mario was tortured by these five in high school, all because he glared at the leader for how he was just treating his classmate. Like, but seriously. This all happened because the guy didn't like the fact that the other dude was bullying him. And then the bullies are like, wow, you got some nerve. Anyways, recently they tried to force Mario to eat some bugs with the homemade bento that was mixed in with the floor. I mean, I don't know why they're doing that, it's just gross. The man was picked on constantly. From the hentai bitch, making fun of the dude and making it look like he was a pervert to literally getting his ass beat like they're trying to beat up Mason from Call of Duty asking him what are the numbers. Later on that day, Mario got home with some battle scars even though he didn't fight at all. His mom Maria gave him a jump scare all of a sudden telling him happy birthday. I feel bad for him because that day he forgot all about his birthday just to go to school and get his ass whooped. The mother notices the son's bow scars. He lies straight away to protect her. Maria has a heart to heart with her son, telling him her past dream of being a nurse, only because when she was younger, a nurse guided and protected her and wanted to be just like her. But she abandons this dream all because she has a son and being a mother is the greatest achievement ever in her entire life. Being that her past, way before she even stepped in school, she was an orphan. By the way I go, the mom was happy to have a son that she can care about. At night time, Mario lays snug in his bed, playing his game until he gets a message on the screen telling him to come outside. Mario didn't want to go outside, but he had to because if he doesn't, the doctor adult video of his mom will be sent everywhere on the internet, even though our boy knows it's fake. But that fake video was enough to get everyone convinced that his mom does AV stuff when she doesn't. 
Mario went to this location with the intention of getting the bullies to not get someone cancelled. They considered not sending the nudes if the boy shrinks himself down by jumping off the cliff. He hesitates, but made up his mind to lose his height. The mom knew something was off and tailed him on his exact location. Maria saw her son short like a little Mario. Before she could reach him, he was run over like a Goomba. The poor mother sat in despair, screaming, COME BACK! The bullies, like a bunch of sickos, watched while Muzan doesn't even budge on seeing Mario getting flattened by truck The others were only worried about getting caught. Shortly after this event, the following happened. The bullies planted evidence and rolled out their forged documents just to pin it on Mario for thinking he had a star. Like a magical star where nothing can hurt him. Both Maria and her hubby Pixama became depressed and divorced. The family was then shamed for what occurred. The mother stumbled upon her son's diary and learned that her son was a subject of bullying from the Furious Five. She educates herself on the personal rap sheet her son documented. At that time, the mother begins her vengeance against those very five kids who tormented and basically killed her son. Maria wasn't going to let these unredeemable souls escape such a horrible sin while she still breathes. The mother received plastic surgery. I mean, how did she do it? With what money? She gets plastic surgery just to look like Moxie from Borderlands 3. Yeah, boy. I mean, goddamn. And then she got into the very school her son used to attend. And in order to get in that school, she had to use her silver tongue. And by silver tongue, I mean her mouth. And by mouth, I mean she had to become a Gluck Gluck 3000. She had to slob on the principal's knob just to check in with them and do her job. This poor woman. It doesn't matter to her. Revenge is all she has left. And if she doesn't succeed in getting that revenge, she has no purpose in living. But what she felt was owed wasn't just an apology. No, no, no. What is owed was blood. Taking me from behind, I'll teach you. I'm a virgin.